Hi, and welcome back. My name is Melissa, and if you just come across my channel, I hope you enjoy the content. I only got a few things up right now. I'm trying to do costly, affordable cooking for this day and age. Things that I've learned from my mother or my sister or my father, cousins, you know, people around me that I've picked up. Some I've tweaked, some I've kept the same. And hopefully you'll be able to do the same. You see the ingredients and say, well, I'd like to have that in there. Try it, you might like it a lot better. Today's gonna to be a busy day. I wanted to be able to film <coughs> a meal. Hopefully I'll be able to, but I realized I have to clean out my fridge today. So that put a little, little, uh, can't think of the right word, a little something in my um, planning. But I do wanna show you some of the things that I have started. So if you just give me one second. Okay, the other day I cooked a uh, whole chicken, and we've already made chicken soup out of it. I just used um, some broth that I already had. But today this is going to get um, taken care of and put in the freezer. So this has been all oh, a good 24 hours. All that bag stuff that I had saved, and my chicken bones, and it's nice, rich, golden. It is going to be so delicious when I do use it. I also, right now, am making my dog's food. He does not like to eat dog food. So I just got some hamburger, frozen hamburger, that I'm going to boil up. I'll take out all the fat when it comes to the top here. And then I'm going to add some pumpkin. And I'm going to add some rice to it. And that'll be his food for the next three or four days. And i hoping today, I want to make Lazy Man's cabbage rolls. I don't know if I'm going to get to that, but we're going to cook something. So let's see what we come up with. Okay, I have cleaned out the refrigerator. That is done. I have cut and chopped all the celery. I had way too much celery. So right now I washed it, letting it dry out for a while. And then I'll throw it in some freezer bags. And then I'll have it for soups, stocks, whatever I need it for. We've got the bones drained out of the crock pot. And this is what we have um, ended up with for stock. We're letting that cool down. We'll get that in containers. Freeze that. And then we have our pot ready for our noodles. Because we're going to have what we decided to have was stuffed pork chops and egg noodles. Because I found the kind that I like for supper tonight. And we clean out the fridge. I had forgot I had thawed some pork chops a couple days ago. So we need to cook them today. So over here to our pork chops. If I don't get a chance to show you, I'm going to very thick, very thick pork chops. I'm going to fillet them with this knife. And then I'm going to take the stuffing that I forgot to give us with our chicken dinner. And stuff that in there and bake them. And they're going to be delicious with the egg noodles and a vegetable. We got Billy's food done. That'll feed him for about three days. And hamburger, rice, and pumpkin. Might mess up a little snack tray. I'm not going to eat that all in one sitting. That'll just be for the next, probably until tonight. So I can just snack on it in between. And then I wanted to show you, this is the chicken that I had pulled off. Now, I also had made a chicken noodle soup yesterday so I had enough chicken for that this chicken then I'm going to go through this pick out the rest of the good chicken and any pieces that I want to throw into Billy's food and that'll be that so next we'll be starting the stuffed pork chops okay. all right so I want to show you guys if you've never um, filleted a uh, pork chop before I'm using the fillet knife all you're doing is cutting it right down the middle and it's way better if these are frozen a little bit to cut through for sure because you're not going to go all the way through anyways you just want to make a little pocket really a little bit deeper I did go all the way through, but that's not a big deal. 
So that's all we've done is make this little pocket. We're gonna liberally garlic, onion, pepper. Like we meant it. Because pork doesn't have a whole lot of flavor. And this is probably pretty close to, I'll probably do it maybe once for a couple other recipes. But to just make pork chops, I don't do it anymore because I really don't eat pork. And this second one over here, I will probably send over to my sister-in-law's house. She likes to eat pork. And I thought I had everything in front of me. Of course I don't. So I'm just going to grab my stuffing. So the other day, I had made stuffing to go with our chicken dinner, Sunday's dinner, and forgot I even made it. It wasn't. So I just stuck it in the fridge, and this is what we're going to use for stuffing. And inside this is just stovetop stuffing. But I had put that leftover hamburger when we made the hamburger, onions and celery and gravy. I put that inside of there. So that's just going to go in there. We put some olive oil down on the pan. We're going to stick it in. And we're going to put it on like 375. We're going to cover it. 375 for maybe 45 minutes to an hour. Your oven might take less. I like my pork cooked all the way through. I do not want to see any pink. I know it's now safe to eat that way. I was not brought up that way. I see pink in my pork. I feel like I'm not going to be well. So... I cook mine all the way through. You cook it to the temperature that you like to eat it. So that is how we stuff a pork chop. Hey, Red. While we're waiting, I'll show you I got four, eight, 11 cups of broth out of that today. Four, eight, 11. We got two, four, six. Gave one to my neighbor, eight. 10 cups of celery. These three bags will go in the freezer, the other one in the fridge. And the celery tip, I did want to um, say, over at Part, I don't know if I'm saying it co correctly, Parton's Heritage Homestead. It's P-A-R-T-I-N apostrophe S. This is the tip where I got the celery that you can freeze it. So if you want to head over to her um, channel and check it out, she has a lot of good um, tips. Um... She uh, froze them, but she also freeze dry, not, yeah, freeze dried some. So, anybody out there that's on my um, to have someday is one of those freeze dryers. But I'm I'm trying to research it, and I really don't know the difference between a freeze dryer, freeze dryer, and a dehydrator. So, anybody know any information about that? I would great to have you uh, comment and let me know about it. All right, so here we go. Next is the plate of our supper. Okay, so we're just waiting for the noodles to finish cooking. We have the vegetables in the microwave because <coughs> they were just leftovers. Here's a sneak peek at our pork chops. So we're going to plate everything up in a second. So here is our finished plate. Stuffed pork chops, egg noodles, broccoli and spinach, and some applesauce. Hope you guys try this and that you like it. If you like this video, I hope you subscribe, like, and comment. That would be greatly appreciated. God bless everybody. Have a great evening.